Hello? No, yes, but there's no one here, love. No, no, Mr. Brent's not here. No, he lives here, yeah, but he don't live here right now because now he lives in Spain. Yeah, Mr. Philip Brent, that's right. The one who writes the plays, that's him. Only now he writes them in Spain. No, 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 she's in Spain too. They're all in Spain. There's no one here. Am I in Spain? No, no, I'm not in Spain, dear. I look after the house for him, but I go home at one o'clock on Wednesday. Only I've got a nice plate of sardines to put my feet up with because it's the royal, what's it called on the telly? The royal, you know. Oh, where's the paper then? Oh, and if it's to do with letting the house, then you have to ring the house agents because they're the agents for the house. Yeah, yeah. Squire, Squire, Hackham and... Who's the other one? No, 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 they're not in Spain, dear. They're next to the phone in the study. Squire, Squire, Hackham and... Hold on, I'll go and look. Always the same minute. Soon as you put the weight off your feet, down it all comes on your head. Wait, wait. I, I take the sardines or I leave the sardines? No, no, I take them, right? You put the receiver back and you leave the sardines. I put the receiver back and I leave the sardines? You leave the sardines. I put the receiver back and I leave the sardines. That's right. Don't we've changed that, haven't we, love? No, love. That's what I've always been doing? <laughs> I shouldn't say that, Duddy, my precious. How about the words then? Am I getting some of them right? Some of them have a very familiar ring. Only it's like a fruit machine in here. I know that, Duddy. I, I never know if it's going to come out three oranges, two lemons, and a banana. Anyway, it's not midnight yet, and we don't open till tomorrow, so you're holding the receiver. I'm holding the receiver. Squire, Squire, Hackerman, hold on. Squire, Squire, Hackerman, hold on, don't go away, I'm putting it down. Always the same minute. Put your feet down for two minutes and immediately they come running after you. I have a housekeeper, Hold yes. it! But this is your afternoon off. Hold it, Gary! Dottie! So we have the place entirely to... Hold it, Brooke! Dottie! Come back. Yes, and go out again with the newspaper. The newspaper? Oh, the newspaper. You put the receiver back, you leave the sardines, and you go out with the newspaper. Here, love. Sorry, love. Don't worry, love. It's just a technical. It's the dress, Gary, honey. It's the dress rehearsal. <laughs> well, <laughs> when was it technical? So when's the dress? We open tomorrow. Uh, well, we're all thinking of it as a technical, aren't we, love? Oh, it's just all those words, honey. <sighs> Don't worry about your words, Dottie, my precious. They're coming up like oranges and lemons. <sighs> Listen, Dottie, your words are fine. Your words are better than the, you know, I mean, I mean uh, <laughs> you know, you know what I mean. Sorry? Uh, all right, so feast, you know, fine, but, but uh, you know, Dottie, you've been playing this kind of part for, uh, well, you, you know what I mean. Okay, so Gary and Brooke are off, Dottie's holding the receiver. No, 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 but, but look, here we are, we're all thinking, my God, we open tomorrow, we've had a fortnight to rehearse, we don't know where we are, but my God, here we are. That's right, my sweet. Isn't that right, Lloyd? Beautifully put, Gary. No, but we gotta play West and Supermare for the rest of this week. Then Yeovil, then God knows where, then God knows where else, for God knows how long. And we're all of us feeling pretty much, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm, aren't you? Sorry? Anyway, you're off. Dottie's holding the receiver. Sorry, Lloyd, I just thought I ought to get it out, you know? Of course. Thanks, Lloyd. Okay, Gary, you're off. You know, Lloyd, since we stopped, uh, I've worked with a lot of directors before in the past. Some of them were geniuses, some of them were bastards, but none of them were so absolutely, I don't know, uh, Thank so... you, Gary. I'm very touched. Now will you get off the stage? And Brooke? Yes? Are you in? In. Are you there? What? You're out. Okay, I'll call again. So there you are, holding the receiver. So there I am, holding the receiver. I put the receiver back, and I leave the sardines. Always the same minute, it's a load of your you mind! And you take the newspaper. I put the receiver back, I leave the sardines, and I take the newspaper. Always the same minute! Leaving the receiver! I have a housekeeper, yes, but, but this is her afternoon off, uh, so we have the place entirely for ourselves. Uh, uh, let me just check. Uh, hello? Hello? Is there, is there anybody home? Uh, no, there doesn't seem to be anybody in here. So, what do you think? And this is all yours? Oh, just a little shack in the woods. Really converted posset mill, 16th century. 
It must have cost a bomb. Well, one has to have somewhere to entertain one's business associates. I have a fellow coming in at four, in fact. Arab chic. Oil, you know. Well, I have to get, get my files to the basing stoke office. Right, we'll only just manage to fit it in. I mean, uh, we'll only just manage to do it. I mean... Right then! Uh, we won't bother to chill the champagne. All these dogs! Oh, uh, only a handful, really. A study, kitchen, and a self-contained service room for the housekeeper. And which one's the... The what? You know. Oh, the usual offices. So through here. Through here. Terrific! Now I've lost the sardine. Ah! I'm sorry, I thought I was the only one in here. Oh, I'm not here. I'm off. Only it's the royal, you know, with the hats and the fruits and... Who are you? I'm from the agents. From the agents? Squire, Squire, Hackam and Dudley. Oh, which one are you then? Squire, Squire, Hackam or Dudley? I'm Tramplemain. Ah, <sighs> walking in here as if you owned the place. I thought you was a burglar. No, no, I, well, I just came by to check on a few things. Uh, d d do one or two odd jobs. Uh, d d check on a few measurements. Oh, and a client. I'm showing a prospective tenant over the house. What's wrong with this door? Uh, she's thinking of renting it. Her interest is definitely aroused. That not the bedroom. The bedroom, no, that's the downstairs bathroom and WC suite. And this is the housekeeper, Mrs. Crockett. Clackett, dear, Clackett. Oh, hi. She's not really here. Only it's the royal, you know, where they wear the hats. Uh, d don't mind us. I'll have the sound on low. We'll just inspect the house. Only, oh, now I've lost the newspaper. I'm Sardine. Sorry it's all right. We don't want the television, do we? Sardines. I've forgotten the sardines. Lloyd, these sardines are driving us mad. Something wrong with the sardines. Uh, the, Poppy! There's four plates of sardines coming in at one alone. Uh, she has them, I have them, they're here, they're there. Uh, they, they, we're, we're all of us feeling pretty much in you know I mean, aren't you? Sorry? The sardines. What sardines? Change the sardines. Make it four grilled turban off the bone. Okay, it's fine for you. You're up there. We're up here. We have to do it. Plus, we got bags, we got boxes, we got doors, we got words. It, uh, it's, it's also, you know what I mean? We're not getting it, you. Poppy love, we think the sardines are lovely. I know, I'm just, I'm just trying to, you know, uh, you know, you know what I mean? I'm... So what do you want to change, Gary? The doors, the bags, the boxes? But we can't start changing things now, love. I'm just saying words, doors, bags, boxes, sardines, us. I, I think I made my point. <laughs> you certainly have, Gary. Got that, Poppy? Um, well... Right then, on we go. And Poppy? Yes? Don't let this happen again. No. Sorry, Lloyd, I just thought, you know... Of course. Better out than, you know. Much better. At least Dottie's happy. Absolutely happy, Lloyd, my love. Will you do something for me then, Dottie, my precious? Anything, Lloyd, my sweet. Will you take the sardines off with you? I'm sorry about this. It's all right. We don't want the television, do we? Only she has been in the family for generations. Great. Come on, then. I've got to be in Basingstoke by four. Uh, shouldn't we have a glass of champagne? We'll take it up with us. Yes, well... And don't leave my files out of sight? No, only... What? Well... Her? She has been in the family for generations. Sardines, sardines. Oh, it's not for me to say, of course, dear. But I will say this. Take the plunge. You'll really enjoy it here. Great! And we'll enjoy having you, won't we, love? Uh, yes, well, yes. Terrific! Ah, sardines, sardines. Can't put your feet up on an empty stomach, can you? You see? She thinks it's great. She's even making us sardines. Well... I think she's terrific. Terrific. So which way? All right, all right. Before she comes back with the sardines. Up here. Uh, yes, yes. In here. Yes, yes, yes. It's another bathroom. No, no, no. Always trying to get me to bathroom. I mean this one, this one. Woo! Black sheets. Oh, th that's the linen closet. Uh, I mean in here, in here, in here. Oh, you're in a real state, and you can't even get the door open. Hold it! No, it's Mrs. Clackett's afternoon off. Remember, hold we've got it. The entirely to ourselves. And God said, "Hold it!" And they held it. And God saw that it was terrible. Sorry, love, the door won't open. Sorry, love, this door won't close. And God said, "Poppy." I'm sorry, everyone. Am I doing something wrong? Y you know how stupid I am about doors. Freddie, my sweet, you're doing it perfectly. Okay, as long as it's not me that's broken them. And there was Poppy, and God said, Be fruitful and multiply and fetch Tim to fix the doors. <sighs> oh, I love technicals. Oh, she loves technicals. I mean, she loves technicals, you know, she really is, she really is, isn't she? I mean, she just loves it. Dottie, where's Dottie? 
Everyone's always so nice to everyone. Oh, she really is, isn't she? She's just so... Oh, oh Belinda's being all you know again. But, Freddy, my precious, don't you like a nice all-night technical? Oh, well, the only thing I like about technicals is you've got a chance to sit on the furniture. <laughs> oh, Freddy, my precious, it's so nice to see you cheering up and making jokes. Oh, that was a joke? This is such a lovely company to work with, such a happy company. Just you wait till we get to Stockton on Tees in 12 weeks' time. Lloyd, my precious, are you all right? I'm starting to know what God felt like when he sat out there in the darkness creating the world. And what did he feel like, Lloyd, my love? Very pleased he'd taken this volume. He had six days, of course. We only have six hours. And God said, where is Tim? And there was Tim. And God said, let there be doors that open when they open and close when they close. Do something? Doors. I was doing the front of the house. Doors! Doors? Tim, are you fully awake yet? He has been putting the setup all weekend. Oh, you're not trying to do too much, are you, Tim? Tim, my love, this door won't close. And the bedroom won't, you know. Oh, right. He hasn't been to bed for 48 hours. Don't worry, Tim. Only another 24 hours and it'll be the end of the day. Oh, look. He's come down to earth amongst us. Listen, since we've stopped anyway, okay? It took two days to get the setup, so we shan't have time for a dress rehearsal. That's okay. Think of the first night as a dress rehearsal. If we can only get through for tonight, for doors and sardines. That's what it's all about. Getting on, getting off, getting the sardines on, getting the sardines off. That's farts, that's the theater, that's life! Oh Lloyd, you're so deep. So just keep going, bang, 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 bang your own, bang, you said it, bang your off, and everything will be perfectly... Where's Selston? Oh no. Not already. Selston! Selston! Poppy! I thought he was at the front with you. I thought he was around the back with you. Is Mr. Mowbray in his dressing room? Oh, I don't think he would not at a technical, would he? What who? Selston, we can't find him anywhere. I'm sure he wouldn't, not at a technical. Well, half a chance he would. Would what? <gasps> now, come on, my sweets, let's be fair, we don't know. Let's not jump to any conclusions. Let's just get the understudy dressed. Tim, yes. hurry up with those doors, you're going on as a burglar. <sighs> right. Shouldn't have been out of sight. I said he must never be out of sight. He's been as good as gold all the way through rehearsals. Yeah, because in the rehearsal room we were all... I, I don't know, but th there we were, you know? There was no set. You could see everyone. Yeah, and here it's all, you know... Split into two. There's a front and a back, and instantly we've lost him. He's not in his dressing room. You've checked in the lavatories. Yes. And the prop room, and the paint store, and the set... Yes. You've worked with him before, of course. Oh, yeah. Ring the police. Tim, finish, finish those doors. Right. Get the burglar gear on. I'm sorry, Dottie Love. No, no, it's my fault, Lloyd. I cast him. <sighs> Let's give him one last chance, I said. One last chance. I mean, what can you do? I was at Weekly Rep together with him and Peebles. It's my fault, my precious. I shouldn't have let you. And th this tour for her isn't just, you know, I mean, this is her life savings. We know that, Gary. I'm not trying to make my fortune. Well, of course you're not, Dottie. I just wanted to put a little something by. We no. know, love. Something she could buy a house with, where she could, uh, you, you know, I mean, there's that too much to ask. Don't you cry, my sweet. It's not your fault. Oh no, I've got something behind my lens. Oh, yeah, you couldn't expect Brooke to keep anyone in sight. <laughs> oh, but he was standing right there in the stalls before I started. I saw him. Who are we talking about now? It's all right, love. We know you can't see anything. You mean Selston? I'm not blind. I can see Selston. <gasps> Selston! Oh my god, he's been there the whole time. Standing there like Hamlet's father. My word, Selston, you gave us a surprise. I mean, we all thought you were, uh, we thought you were... Not there. <laughs> Where have you been, Selston? Are you alright, Selston? Speak to us! I is it a party? Is it a party? I is it? How killing! I got it into my head there was going to be a rehearsal. I was having a little post little snooze at the back of the stalls so as to be ready for the rehearsal. Isn't he lovely? Much lovelier now we can see him. Uh, so what are we celebrating? What are we celebrating? I've looked all through the dressing room, I looked all through the wardrobe, I can't find the gear! Beer? In the wardrobe? No, Selson! Tim, you need a break. Why don't, you, why don't you go upstairs and do all the company's VAT? VAT, right. And Tim, 
Just in case he and the burglar gear do walk off together one night, order yourself a spare burglar costume. Spare burglar costume. Make it two spare burglar costumes. One to fit you, one to fit Poppy. I want a plentiful supplies of burglars in case of any eventuality. Two spare burglars. Lloyd, he has been on his feet for 48 hours. Don't fall down, Tim! We may not be insured! So, what's next on the bill? Well, I thought we might try a spot of rehearsal. Oh, I won't, thank you. <laughs> you won't? No, you all go ahead. I'll sit and watch. This is the beer in the wardrobe, is it? No, my sweet. He wants us to rehearse. Y yes, but I think we have to rehearse, haven't Rehearse? We? Yes. Well done, Selden. I knew you'd think of something. Right. From Berlin and Freddy's entrance. Lloyd! Now what? The police! The police? They found an old man. He was lying unconscious in a doorway just across the oh, street. Oh, yes, thank you. They say he's very dirty and rather smelly, and I thought, oh my thank god. Thank you, Poppy. No, because when you get close to Selston. Poppy! No, I mean, if you stand anywhere near Selston, you can't help noticing this very distinctive. I'll tell you one thing, Poppy. Once you got it in your nostrils, you'll never forget it. Sixty years now, and the smell of the theater still haunts me. Oh, bless him. Tell me, Poppy Love, how, do you, how did you get a, a job like this that requires tact and understanding? You're not somebody's girlfriend, are you? Don't worry, Poppy Love, he truly did not hear. Not here? Yes, yes, there! Sit down, my precious. Go back to sleep. You're not on for another 20 pages yet. Right then. Dotty in the kitchen, wildly roasting sardines, Freddie and Belinda waiting impatiently outside the front door, Gary and Brooke disappearing tremulously into the bedroom, time sliding irrevocably into the past. Aren't they sweet? What? Uh, Gary and Dottie. Gary and Dottie? Shh! What? You mean they're an item? Those two, Trampleman and Mrs. Clackett. It's supposed to be a secret. But she's old enough to be his. Shh! Didn't you know? I'm just God, Belinda Love. I'm just the one with the English degree. I don't know anything. Well, what's happening? I don't like to imagine, Gary. I mean, what are we waiting for? I don't know what you're waiting for. Her 16th birthday? What? Or maybe just the cue. Brooke, oh, you're in a real estate. Oh, you're in a real estate and you can't even get the door open. Door closed, love. Oh, you're in a real estate and you can't even get the door open. No, it's Mrs. Clackett's afternoon off. Remember, we've got the place entirely to ourselves. Home. Home sweet home. Dear old house. Just waiting for us to come back. It's rather funny, though, creeping in like this for our wedding anniversary. You know, it's damn serious. If Finland Revenue finds out we're in the country, even for one night, bangles are claimed to resident abroad. Bangles most of this year's income. Uh, I feel like an illegal immigrant. I'll tell you what I feel like. Oh, champagne. I wonder if Mrs. Clackett's aired the beds. Darling. Well, why not? No children, no friends dropping in. We're absolutely on our own. True. There is something to be said for being a tag's exile. Leave those. Shh. What? Inland revenue may hear us. <laughs> <laughs> what I did with that first lot of sardines, I shall never know. Mrs. Mrs. Clackett! <laughs> You gave me a turn! Me heart chomp right my boots! So did mine! We thought you'd gone. I thought you was in Spain! Oh, we are, we are. You haven't seen us. We're not here. Oh, so it's hot that, innit? Income tax are after you? They would be if they knew we were here. All right then, love. You're not here. I haven't seen you. If anybody asks for you, I don't know nothing. Oh, off to bed, are you? Oh. Well... That's right! No, we're like bed when they all get on top of you. Oh, you want your things, look. Uh, oh, yes, thank you. That bed hasn't been aired, love. Uh, I'll get a hot water bottle. I've put all your letters in the study, dear. Letters? What letters? You forward all the mail, don't you? We're not the ones from income tax, of course, dear. I don't want to spoil your holidays. Oh, good heavens, where are they? In the pigeon house. In the pigeon house? In the little pigeon house in your desk, love. Yes, but I guess your voices. Voices? What Hold sort of it! voices? Freddy, what's the trouble? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, Lloyd. You know how stupid I am about moves. Sorry, Gary. Sorry, Brooke. It's just my usual dimness. But why do I take the things off into the study? I, I mean, wouldn't it be more natural if I left them on? No. Oh. You know, I, I thought it might be more logical somehow. No. Oh. 
Lloyd, I, I know it's a bit late in the day going into all of this, but... Freddy, we've got several more minutes before we open. Oh, thank you, Lloyd, as long as we're not too pushed. But I've never understood why he carries an overnight bag and a box of groceries into the study to look at his mail. Well, because they need to be out of the way for my next scene. Oh, yes, I see that. And Freddy, my sweet, Selston needs them in the study for his scene. I see that, but it... Selston, where is he? Is he there? <gasps> Selston! Selston! <sighs> No bars, no burglar alarms. They ought to be prosecuted for insight. No? No, no not yet. Thank you, Selzin. I, I thought I heard my name. No, not yet. I'm so sorry. Not at all. Poppy, fix the window, please. And Selzin? Yes? Beautiful performance. Oh, how kind of you. I don't think I'm quite there yet, though. He even remembered the lines. I, I, I see that. Oh, no. I just don't know why I take them. Freddy, why does anyone do anything? Why does that other idiot walk out the front door with two plates of sardines? I'm not getting at you, love. Of course, love. I mean, why do I? I now, now that I think about it, why do I? Who knows? The, the, human, the wellsprings of human actions are deep and cloudy. Maybe something happened to you as a small child that made you frightened to let go of groceries. Or it could be genetic. Or it could be, you know... It could well be. Yes, yes, I, I understand all that, but... Freddy, I don't know. I don't think the author knows. I don't know why the author came into this industry in the first place. I don't know why any of us came into it. All the same, if you could just give me a reason that I could keep in mind. All right, mind. I'll give you a reason. You carry those groceries into the study, Freddy, honey, because it's just slightly after midnight and we're not going to be finished before we open tomorrow night. The correction, before we open tonight. <laughs> right then. On we go from Freddy's exit with the groceries. Lloyd, sweetheart. Yes? Freddy's wife left him this morning. Oh. Freddy! I think the point is that you've had a great fright when she mentions income tax, and you feel very insecure and exposed, and you want something familiar to, familiar to hold on to. Thank you, Lloyd. That's most helpful. Bless you, my sweet. And on we merrily go. Yes, but I could hear voices. Yes, yes, but, but I could hear voices. Voices? What sort of voices? People's voices. But there's no one here. Uh, darling, I saw the door handle move. It could be someone from the office coming to check by. I still don't see why you have to put your tie up in to look. Uh, Mrs. Crockett. Mrs. Crockett? Uh, one has to set an example for the staff. Oh, look, she's opened our sardines. Let's come back, come back. What? You can't go downstairs like that. I'll fetch it for you. Why not? Uh, Mrs. Crockett. Mrs. Crockett? One has certain obligations. Sardines here, sardines there. It's like a Sunday school outing. Oh, still poking around, are you? Yes, still poking. I mean, still about. Uh, uh, In the airing cupboard, were uh, you? No, no, uh, just checking on a few linens and sheets, going through the inventory. Uh, Mrs. Blackett. Uh, Clackett, dear, Clackett. Mrs. Clackett, is there anyone else in the house, Mrs. Clackett? No, no, there's no one in the house, love. I, I thought I heard voices. Voices? There are no voices here, love. I must have imagined it. Oh, good Lord above! I beg your pardon? Oh, good Lord above! The study door's open. Uh, the, 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 there's a car outside. That's a Mr. Hackham's, is it? Or Mr. Dudley's? Nothing but flapping doors in this house. Final notice. Steps will be taken to strain proceedings in court. Oh yes, that reminds me, a gentleman came about the house. Don't tell me, I'm not here. He says you got Lady quite around. Leave everything to Squire, Squire, Hackham and Dudley. I'll just let him go alone, shall I? Let them do anything, just as long as you don't tell anyone we're here. So I'll just sit down and turn on the... Sardines, sardines, I've forgotten the sardines, I don't know. If it weren't fixed to me shoulders, I'd forget what day it was. I didn't get this, I'm not here. I'm in Spain. But if I didn't get it, I didn't open it. Darling, I never had a dress like this, did I? Didn't you? Oh, I shouldn't buy anything as tardy as this. Or is it something you gave me? I'd never have touched it. No, it's lovely. Stick it down, put it back, never saw it. Well, I'll just put it in the attic with all the other things you gave me that are too precious to wear. Oh, all right, all right. Oh. Oh, and now the study door's open. What's going on here? Knocking? Upstairs. Oh, there, there, oh, there's somebody in the linen cupboard. Oh. oh, it's you. Of course it's me. You put me in here in the dark with all the black sheets and things. Yes, but darling, why did you lock the door? Why did I lock the door? Why did you lock the door? I didn't lock the door. Well, someone 
lock the door? A anyway, we can't stand here like this. Like what? In your underwear. Oh, I'll take it off. In here, in here. Darling, this glue, is it the sort you can never get unstuck? Hold it. Oh, Mrs. Clark, it's made of some sardines. Hold it, we have a problem. Oh, bad luck. Oh, oh, which one is it this time? Left one. It's the left one, everybody. Left, left one. one. It's the left one. Oh my, it, it could be anywhere. It probably rolled over the, you know, and, and bounced off the, you know. Where did you last see it? She didn't see it, the poor sweet. It was in her eye. It was probably on, on why did you lock the door? She, she always opens her eyes very sort of, you know, and, and I always feel like I should rush forward and just... Uh, <laughs> Oh yes, everyone look under their feet. <laughs> no, no one move their feet. Everyone put their feet back exactly where they were. Everyone, pick up your feet one by one. Brooke, is this gonna happen during a performance? We don't want the audience to miss their last buses and trains. Oh, she'll just carry on, won't you, my love? But can she see anything without them? Can she hear anything without them? <gasps> Sorry. I oh, sorry! Ah! Oh, sorry! Oh, my poor darling, you stepped on his hand! Oh, dear. Oh, look at Freddy, the poor love. What's the matter with him? Oh, he's just got a little nosebleed. A nosebleed? No one touched him. No, he's got this thing about violence. It always makes his nose bleed. I'm so sorry. Brooke. I'm sorry, I, I thought you said something to me. Yes. Just go and hit the box office manager with this, and you'll have finished off Life Theater in Western Supermare. Anyway, I found it. She's found it. Where was it, love? In my eye. In her eye. Well done, my sweet. Not in your left eye. It had gone round the side. I knew it hadn't gone far. Are you all right, Poppy, my precious? I think so. Freddy? Fine, fine. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. <laughs> now what? He's just feeling a little faint. He's got this thing about... This thing about what? Well, I won't say the word. You mean blood? Oh, dear. We all understand, my precious. Right then. Walking wounded carry the stretcher cases. And on we bloodily stagger. Dear. Oh, Freddy, I'm so sorry. Let me rephrase that. On we blindly stumble. Oh, Brooke, I'm sorry. I withdraw that. <laughs> right then. Okay, I'll take it off in here and here. Where's Selston? Selston! I think she might have dropped her somewhere out here. Good, keep looking. You're not on for another 10 pages yet, Selston. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'll take it off in here and here. In here, in here. Darling, this glue, is it the sort you can never get unstuck? Oh, darling. Mrs. Clackett's made us some sardines. A hot water bottle? I, I didn't put it there. I didn't put it there! Someone in the bathroom filling hot water bottles. Do you think there's something creepy going on? Darling, are you coming to bed or aren't you? Did, did, did you say something? I didn't say anything. First the door handle, now the hot water bottle. I wonder what on earth is going on here. I can feel goose pimples all over! Yes, quick, get something over you. Get the cover over our heads! Just a minute, what did I do with those sardines? Uh, uh, you wait here. You hear all sorts of funny things about this old house. Yes, but it's been completely modernized. I don't see how anything creepy could have survived ten to <gasps> What? What? What happened? The sardines! They're gone! Perhaps there is something funny going on! I'm gonna go upstairs and put my head under the... <gasps> did I put them here or did I put them there? Or bag! I bet Mrs. Splatchett must have taken them while we were upstairs. Bag! Bag! What is it? Bag! 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 What do you mean bag? Bag! 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 bag. What bag? Your bag! Here! Suddenly now! Gone! It's, it's in the bedroom! I, I put it in the bedroom! Don't go in there! Oh, the box! Oh, the box! They're both gone! Oh, my files! What on earth is happening? Uh, I'll fetch Mrs. Blatchett. Where's M You went in the bedroom! No, no, no! At least put your dress on! I'm not going in there again! I'll fetch it for you! I'll fetch it for you! Yes, quick! Let's get out of here! Your dress! It's gone! Don't panic! Don't panic! Uh, th th there's a perfectly rational explanation for all this. Uh, I'll fetch Mr. Splatchett and she'll explain exactly what's happening. Uh, you wait here. No, you can't wait here like that. Uh, you win the study. Study! 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 Ah! Roger! There's a strange figure in the study! Oh, darling, I know this is gonna sound silly, but... 
Darling, if you're not coming to bed, then I'm going to clear out the attic. I can't come to bed. I'm glued to a tax demand. Darling, why don't you put the sardines down? Darling, I'm glued to the sardines. Darling, don't play the fool. Get that bottle marked poison from the downstairs loo. That eats through anything. You know, I've heard of people getting stuck with the problem, but this is ridiculous. Selzen! Come on, Selzen, your moment's arrived. It's all right, he's coming, he's coming. But that window should have been open even before Freddy's off. Ah, and here it is. No bars, no burglar alarms. They ought to be prosecuted for incitement. All right, hold it, no, Selzen. Let's take it again. It makes me want to sit down and weep. When I think I used to do Hold bets, it, Selzen. Hold it. I remember it. I used to do bully vaults. What am hold I doing it. Now? I'm breaking into paper bags. Lloyd wants you to hold it. So, what do they have to offer? Stop, Selzen, my love. Wait, my precious. It's like Myra Hess playing on through the air raids. Stop. 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 Thank you, Belinda. Thank you, puppy. Selzen. I met Myra Hess once. <laughs> I think he can hear better than I can. Beg your pardon? <laughs> From your entrance, please, Selzen. Oh, it was during the war at a charity show in Sunderland. Thank you. Poppy! Oh, not for me. It stops me from sleeping. <laughs> Fix the window, please. Come on again? Yes, only Selzen. Uh -huh. A little sooner, Selzen. A shade earlier. A touch closer to yesterday. Freddy! I want you to start moving before Freddy's off. What's the line? I've heard of people getting stuck with a problem, but this is ridiculous. I want you to start moving as soon as you hear the line. I've, I've heard of people getting stuck with a problem, but this stuck with a problem. Stuck with a problem, but go. this is ridiculous. And I want that window opened, okay? Say no more. May I make a suggestion, though? Should I perhaps come on a little earlier? Selzen. Only there does seem to be a bit of a hiatus between Freddy's sex and my entrance. No, wait, Selzen. I've got this. Yes. How about you come on a little earlier? <laughs> We're obviously thinking along the same lines. Is he putting me on, or am I putting him on? And on we go from Freddy's exit. <clears throat> you know, I've heard of people getting stuck with a problem, but this is ridiculous. No bars, no burglar alarms. They ought to be prosecuted for incitement. No, but sometimes it makes me want to sit down and weep. When I think I used to do banks, when I remember I used to do bully vaults, what am I doing now? I'm breaking into paper bags. So, what do they have to offer? One microwave oven? Mm. What? 50 quid? Hardly worth lifting. Um, let's see. Junk, junk, if you insist. Where's his desk? No, but they all say the same thing. They all say the same thing. Yes, line? It's hard to adjust to retirement. What? It's, it's hard to adjust to retirement. Hard to what? Adjust to retirement. It is also very hard to hear when everybody talks at once. You know, if there's any previous history of paranormal phenomena. Oh, yeah, it's all nice and paranormal. But has anything ever dematerialized before? Has anything ever flown about? Flown about? No. Things move themselves on their own two feet like they do in any house. I'd better warn my prospective tenant then. Uh, she's suspecting the study. Ah! Th th there's a man in there. No, no. There's no one in the house, love. No, no. But look. He, he's searching for something. I can't see no one. You can't see him? But this is extraordinary. And, and, and where is my prospective tenant? I left her in there. Uh, she's gone. My prospective tenant has disappeared. Oh. Ah! What? There. Where? The sardines. Oh, the sardines. You can see the sardines? I can see the sardines. And I can see the way they're going, too. I'm not letting these sardines go out of my hand. But where is my prospective tenant? I'm going to be opening sardines all night, in and out of here like a cuckoo on a clock. Vicky! 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 Oh, I miss the violence. I miss having other human beings around to terrify. Where is she? Vicky! Vicky! All the silence gets you down. It's nice to have a bit of screaming and shouting once in a while. Vicky! 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 I'm gonna end up talking to myself. Darling, this stuff that eats through anything, it eats through trousers. Darling, if it eats through trousers, you don't suppose it goes on and eats through... 
Oh, listen, darling, I think I'd better get these trousers off. Darling, quick! This is an emergency, I mean, if it is through absolutely everything. I can feel it! It's eating through absolutely everything! But there's something evil going on in this house. The Inland Revenue! He's back! No! Wait, wait! I'm not here! He's not here! I'm abroad! He's abroad! I must go! Stay! I won't thank you! Speak! Only in the presence of my lawyer. Only in the presence of your lawyer. You, you're not from the other world. Yes, yes, Marbella. You're some kind of intruder. Uh, nice to meet you. I mean, uh, have a sardine. No, you're not. You're some kind of sex maniac. Uh, where did you Where did you take Vicky? Oh, you have some sardines, but if there's nothing I can offer you... Wait, come back! Uh, oh, this is a job for the police. Oh. Yes, police? Yes, someone has broken into my house. Or rather, someone has broken into someone's house. Uh, no, but, uh, but he's a sex maniac. Uh, I left the young woman here, and where she's gone to, nobody knows. There's a man! in the undergrowth! The young woman has reappeared. Are you alright? No, he almost saw me! He almost saw her! No, 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 but he's a burglar as well. He's taking all of our things. The things are here! The things have come back. Now all we're missing is one plate of sardines. The other sardines are here! And we found the sardines. Are you talking to the police? You want the police here? In my underwear? So what am I saying? I'm saying let's have a no more about it. I thought something terrible had happened to you. It has. I know him. You know him? He has dealt with by our office. But, darling, he's just an ordinary sex maniac. Yes, but when you work for Inland Revenue, you have to keep up certain standards. He mustn't see me like this. Well, then put something on. I haven't got anything. The bathroom. There must be something in the bathroom. Uh, bring the sardines. Come on. Come on. That's a downstairs tidied up a bit. Let's give the upstairs a quick look around for them. A bath mat? It's I can't go around in front of the taxpayers wearing a bath mat. It's better than nothing. Uh, all right, uh, the bedroom then. There must be something in the bedroom. I'm uh, not going in there. I'll check the bedroom then. You check the other bathroom. I'll check the bedroom. Darling, help. This is an emergency. Roger, there's someone in the bathroom. Darling, I'm finding such lovely things. Do you remember this China tea service that you gave me on the anniversary of our first night together? Ah! Who are you? Oh, oh no, it's his wife and dependents. Excuse me, miss, don't you think you've dropped your dress? <gasps> Darling, where have you been? I've been going mad. Just look at the state I'm in. Ah! Darling! Honestly, she just burst into the room and her dress just fell off! <gasps> Here, I, I found this. Uh, put this on while I go check the attic for something else. One pair gold tap. Oh my god! Who are you? Me? Uh, just, just doing the taps. Tax? Income tax? That's right, Governor. Income new taps, out go old taps. Tax inspectors everywhere! Ah, here you are. The other one! Uh, your dress came flying out of the attic at me. Darling, I think her dress is stuck to my head now. Oh, another intruder. Just doing the taps, Governor. A tax? Not a tax on women. Uh, try anything, Governor. But I'll do the taps on the bathroom first. Sex maniacs. Sex maniacs everywhere. Where's Vicky? Where's Vicky? Vicky! 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 People everywhere. I'm off. A tax on women? I don't know. They'll put a tax on anything these days. If I can't find her, you're going to be in serious trouble, you see? WC? Oh, fix it! Vicky! Vicky! Darling! Oh, uh, Sheik, you're here already. Oh, uh, I thought you were coming in at four. Oh, and, and this is your lovely wife. Well, uh, do you want to see the house now, Sheik, do you? Well, since you're, all, since you're already upstairs... Him uh, and his floozy, I'll break this over there. Ah! Let's start downstairs. Who are you? Who are these... Creatures. I don't know who she is, but no connection with the house whatsoever, I assure you. Uh, this fine lady with the sardines no. on the other hand. Other hands, thank you. Not my sardines. This time I'm eating them. It's clearly too preoccupied with the sardines, so maybe the bathroom facilities will be of more interesting. Mrs. Clackett, who are these people? Oh, they're just Arab sheets, dear. We get them all the time. I'm, I'm sorry about this, but in here... Arab sheets? In here we have... Your ball cocks have gone. We have him. <gasps> They're Irish sheets. Irish linen sheets off my own bed. Oh, the thieving devils. But in the study, You we give have... me that sheet, you devil. Oh, and there she stands in a schmooze for all the world to see, huh? It, it's you. 
It's her. It's my little girl. Dad. Our little Vicky that ran away from home. I thought I'd never see her again. Well, would you believe it? What are you doing here like this? What are you doing here like that? Oh, I have to take our files to the Inland Revenue down in Basingstoke. Ah. Uh. So where's my other sheet? Ah. A house of heavenly peace. I rent it. Hold on, hold on. I know that face. You're not our chic. You're that sex maniac. Yes, it's... It's my husband. What? How you took over the country. What? What? You snatched my back. Trousers, what? trousers. What? You tossed me aside like a broken china doll. And to cap it what? all, what? you got your trousers on. And what you're up to with my little girl down in Basingstoke. Stop. 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 It's a question of authenticity, you see, Freddy. Do Arab potentates wear trousers under their robes? I don't know. Maybe they do. But not round their ankles, Freddy! Not round their I'm ankles! Sorry, I'm sorry. It's just frightfully difficult doing a quick change without a dresser. Get Tim to help you. Okay, Tim. Tim! Where's Tim? Come on, Tim! Yes? Oh, right. You're acting. I must have dropped off down there. Never mind, Tim. Do something? No! Let it pass! We'll just struggle through on our own. Tim has a sleep behind the sofa while all the rest of us walk around with trousers around their ankles. Okay, Freddy? You'll just have to do the best you can. And down we go. <laughs> Some other problem, Freddy? Well, since we're stopped anyway. Why did I ask? You know how stupid I am about plot, right? I know, Freddy. Can I, can I ask another silly question? All my studies in world drama lie at your disposal. See, I still don't understand why the cheek just happens to be Philip's double. Well, because he's all, and, and we all think that he's, you know, I mean, that, that, that's the joke. Yeah, I, I see that. My sweet, the rest of the plot depends on it. I see that, but it is rather, rather a, a coincidence, isn't it? It is rather a coincidence, Freddy. Until you reflect upon the fact that there was an earlier draft of this play, now unfortunately lost to us. And in this, the author makes it perfectly clear that Philip's father, as a young man, traveled extensively throughout the Middle East. I see. I see. I see. You see? Oh, that's very interesting. I thought you'd like that. But will the audience get it? You have to tell them, Freddy. Looks, gestures, that's what acting's all about. Okay, thank you, Lloyd. Thank you. And it'll be even more powerful when you do it with no trousers. Of course, of course. Let me take them off. So can we please just finish the act? From Belinda's beautiful line, you toss me aside like a broken china doll. I'm bling, being so clever out here. What's going to be left of this show when I've done to do Richard III and they're up here on their own? Right. You toss me aside like a broken china doll. It's a chic. Sorry. <clears throat> you toss me aside like a broken china doll. What, what, what? And what you're up to with my little girl down in Basingstoke, I won't ask. But I'll tell you one thing, Vicky. Broke! Sorry! <laughs> Come on, love, your line! We're two lines away from the end of the act! I don't understand. <sighs> Give her the line. It's, what's that, Dad? But, but I don't understand. It's, what's that, Dad? Yes, I say to you, I'll tell you one thing, Vicky. And you say to me, what's that, Dad? I don't understand why the sheik looks like Philip. Puppy, bring the book. Is that the line? I don't understand why the sheik looks like Philip. Can we consult the author's text and make absolutely sure? Well, I think it's... What's that, that, right? That's the line, Brooke Love. I know you've worked in very classy places up in London where they let you make the play as you go along. But we don't want that kind of thing here, do we? Not when the author has provided us with such a polished line of his own. Not at 2 o'clock in the morning. Not two lines away from the end of the act. Not when we're all about to drop dead of exhaustion before we've had the tea break. We merely want to hear the line, What's that, Dad? That's it. Nothing else. I'm not being unreasonable, am I? Exit. Does it say exit? Oh god, now she's going to wash her lens away. Oh, good lord. A little heavy with the sauce, I thought. I, I thought it was going to be Poppy when he finally... You yeah, know. It usually is Poppy, isn't it, love? I suppose it's all my fault. Yeah, but why pick on, you know... Yeah, why Brooke? I thought it was quite sweet, actually. Sweet. 
Trying to pretend like they're not having a little thing together? A little thing? Lloyd and Brooke? Brooke and Lloyd? Didn't you know? Where did you think they were all weekend? You mean that's why he wasn't here in poor old Temple? Put the setup back to front. I'm sorry. Shh, here they come. It's all right. All forgotten. I was irresistible. I think I'm going to be sick. Oh no! Oh, for heaven's sake! You mean her too? Great Scott! Well, there's something I didn't know. Oh, I think I'm gonna faint. Oh, yes, yeah, sit down, love. Quick, do your meditation. Well, that's something she didn't know. Hush, love. Oh, two weeks rehearsal. That's all we've had. But whatever next? Most exciting. Oh, oh, here sh- they come. Are they all right, love? Yeah, she's going to be fine in a minute. Something she ate, probably. Yeah, this one's feeling a bit, you know... I'm feeling a pretty, you know, myself. I think I'm going to... Which? Faint? Or uh, be sick? Need that tea break. You're certainly overdoing it at the moment, love. So can we please just have the last line of the act? Me? Last line? Right. I'll tell you one thing, Vicky. What's that, Dad? When all around is strife and uncertainty, there's nothing like a... Like a... What? There's nothing like a good old-fashioned plate of sardines. A a what? A good old-fashioned plate of... A good old-fashioned plate of... What? Sardines! And curtains! Oh!
Parece un poquito más porque que lo vuelven a voltear el One beginners, please. Your calls, Miss Audley, Miss Ashton, Mr. Legend, Miss Fellas, Miss Blair. Act one, beginners, please. And maybe act one, beginners, is what we'll get. What do you think? Oh, thought you'll put herself together and have a call beginners. Now she knows she's got to be on stage in five minutes. Will she? You know what Dottie's like. We've only been on the road for a month. We've only got to Ashton on the line. What's it going to be like by the time we get to Stockholm on Tees? If only she'd speak. If only she'd unlock her dressing room door. Look, if Dottie won't go on... Won't go on! If she won't... She will! Of course she will! But if she doesn't... She must! She will, she will. But if she didn't... I'd have to change in five minutes, four minutes! I'll have another go. Takes your mind off your own problems anyway. If only she'd speak to someone. Has she gone? Lloyd, I didn't know you were coming today! I wasn't, I haven't. Anyway, thank God you're here! I'm not here, I'm at the Arborist with Festival. No, Dottie and Gary... I don't want anyone to know I'm in. No, but Dotty and Gary... I just want two hours alone and undisturbed with Brooke. Then I'm on the 725 back to Wales. This is for Brooke. Put it somewhere safe. Make sure Selsdon doesn't get his hands on it. Right. They've had some kind of row. Good, good. There's a little flower shop across the road. I want you to go and buy me some very large and expensive looking flowers. Right. Now Dotty locked herself in her dressing room. Don't let Poppy see them. They're not for Poppy. No, and... She won't speak to anyone. First house finishes just after 5, yes? Second house starts at 7.30. Lloyd, that's what I'm trying to tell you. There may not be a show. She hasn't walked out already? No one knows what she's doing. She locked herself in her dressing room. She won't speak to anyone. You've called beginners? Yes. I can play a complete love scene in cold from 5 minutes. It's not dramatically possible. They've had bust ups before, of course. Brooke's had a bust up with Gary? Brooke? Not Brooke. Daddy. Oh, Daddy. They had the famous bust of the week before last when we were playing a workshop. Yeah, yeah, you told me about it. She went out with this journalist bloke. Journalist, yeah, yeah. But you know Gary threatened to kill him? Killed him, yes, I know. Listen, don't worry about Dottie. She's got money on the show. Yes, but now it's happened again. Two o'clock this morning, I'm woken up by this great banging on my door. It's Gary. Do I know where Dottie is? She hasn't come home. Tim, let me tell you something, something about my life. I have the Duke of Buckingham on the phone to me for an hour every day after rehearsal complaining that the Duke of Gloucester is sucking boiled sweets through his speeches. The Duke of Clarence is up the entire week doing a commercial for, for Madeira. And Richard III, would you believe, Richard himself has gone down with a back problem. I keep getting messages from Brooke about how unhappy she is here and now she's got herself a doctor's certificate for nervous, nervous exhaustion. She's going to walk. I don't have time to find or rehearse another Vicky. I just have one afternoon while Richard is fitted for surgical corset to cure Brooke of her nervous ex ex exhaustion with no little uh, medical aid except a little whiskey. You've got the whiskey, a few flowers. You've got the money for the flowers and a certain faded charm. 
So I haven't come to theater to hear about other people's problems. I've come to be taken out and preferably not put back again. Yes, but Lloyd. Have you done the front of house calls? The front of house calls. And don't let Poppy see those flowers. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please take your seats? The show will begin in three minutes. We're going to be so laid up. No luck. Belinda's having a go. I haven't even started the front of house calls. Money? What's that for? Nothing, nothing. Whiskey? Is it? Where did you find that? Oh, well... Up here? You mean, you mean Selzin's hiding them around the stage now? I'll take that and put it in the ladies' loo. At least he won't go in there. No? You know what Dottie's like when she's like this. Freddy's having a try now, but... Oh, no. He's hiding them around the stage now. No? No. You didn't try for very long, my precious. No, well... Oh, dear. He's hiding them on stage now. No, Gary came rushing out of his dressing room in a great state. I, I couldn't quite understand what he was saying. I often feel with Gary I must have missed something somewhere. You know how stupid I am about that sort of thing. But I think that he was saying that he wanted to kill me. Oh, my poor sweet! You know, I thought I'd better leave him to it. I don't want to make things worse. He's all right, is he? Who, Gary? Anything but by the sound of it. No, I, I mean, he's going on. <laughs> Gary's going on, of course! Gary's going on! What's all this about Gary not going on? Yes, because if you have to go on for Gary, then Poppy can't go on for Dottie, because if Poppy goes on for Dottie, then you'll have to be on book. This is getting farcical. Money. Money. You're waving money around. Oh, it's for... Oh! <laughs> She's a funny woman, you know, Dottie. So up and down. She was perfectly all right last night. <clears throat> last... L last night? Yeah, she took me for a drink after the show in some club she knows about. You mean... You mean she was with you? You were with her? She was being very sympathetic about all my troubles. She's not going to sink her teeth into you! I won't let her! Oh, no. She couldn't have been nicer. <laughs> in fact, she came back to my digs afterwards for a cup of tea and she told me all her troubles. <laughs> we sat there until 3 o'clock this morning. <laughs> I don't know what the landlady thought. And another thing. Nothing else, my sweet. We're Selston. It turns out it's Freddy here who's the cause of all the... Selston. He's not in his dressing room. Oh, I might have guessed. Oh! The front of house calls! Oh, uh, you do the calls. I'll look for Selsden. Oh, what shall I do? Absolutely nothing at all. Okay. You've done quite enough already, my pet. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. The curtain will rise in three minutes. He wants to kill someone! Selsden wants to kill someone? Gary! Gary! Selsden! We can't find him! Oh, not again! Flowers. Oh, well, they're just... Oh, Tim! That's really sweet of you. Isn't that sweet of him? Oh, very charming. Oh. <laughs> I'll just go look in the pub. Hold these. I'll take those. Oh, the front of house calls. Oh, oh, I think Poppy's done them already. She gave them two minutes, did she? I'll give them one minute. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please take your seats? The show will begin in one minute. Oh, oh dear, I think Poppy's told them three minutes. She said three minutes! I said three minutes! She said three minutes! I think so. Oh, these! Oh, so pretty. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please take your seats? The show will begin in two minutes. Oh, any luck? No, but I found yet another bottle. Oh, oh dear. Hidden in the ladies' laboratories, would you believe? Oh, my lord. And Charity! I'll give it to Charity. He's not in the pub. No, he's hiding around ladies' laboratories. I... Better get the spare gear on. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please take your seats? The curtain will rise in two minutes. Oh, oh, I think Tim's already told them two minutes. He said two minutes? Ladies and gentlemen, will you please take your seats? The curtain will rise in one minute. What is going on? Lloyd! Great Scott! I didn't know you were here. I'm not here. I'm at the Avarice with Festival. But I can't stand out there and listen to one minute, three minutes, two minutes, one minute. My sweet, we're having great dramas in the dressing rooms. We're having great dramas out there. This is a matinee, honey. There's old age pensioners. The curtain will rise in three minutes and we all start for the gents. The curtain will rise in one minute and we all come running back again. We don't know which, where we're going. Lloyd. Um... I need to talk to you. Go on. Well, did you get my messages? Many, many messages. Why didn't you answer? I did. I have. I'm here. Look, it's just, 
I went to the doctor today. Brooke! And... Later, yes, later. Oh no, not another one. In my dressing room. In your dressing room? This is getting completely out of control. I'll give it to Charity with the other one. I'll do it, thank you. Uh, Lloyd. 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 Got it in one. Did you get my messages? And came running, honey, and came running. We need to have a talk. We're going to have a talk. When? Later, yes, later. Flowers? Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. Tim bought them for me. Tim bought them for you. To cheer me up, Lloyd. Nothing more, just for the moment, thank you. Strangle Tim for me when you see him, will you? All right. But what about Dottie? I don't want to hear about Dottie. Oh, and Gary? Not about Gary either. Well, what about Selsden? Listen, I think this, this show is beyond the help of a director. You just do it. I'll sit out there with my toffees and enjoy the show. One minute was your last call if your memory goes back that far. Lloyd! Wait! Excuse me? I've got to have a word with him. Girls, girls! I have a good mind to put my coat on and walk out right here and now. Listen, Brooke, if you don't feel up to performing, I am sure Poppy would always be happy to have a bash on your behalf. I beg your pardon? Honestly? Brooke, you go and do your meditation. And Poppy, you go and see what's going on with Gary and Dottie. Ready, my sweet precious? Did I say something wrong? Where's Tim? Selston, my sweet, where have you been? Are you all right? Oh, dear. We've yeah. been looking for you everywhere. Oh, yes, everywhere. In front, manager's office, bar, not a sign of him. He's been looking for you in the dressing rooms. That's right. Great shinding being gone on down there. I thought Tim ought to know about it. I think he's heard. Oh, everything. Oh, he really went for her. I know when you got your eye on someone. Oh dear, Daddy's got her eye on someone, has she? I've seen you creeping off into corners with that poor halfwit. Which poor halfwit? Never mind, my love. <gasps> not, not Tim? No, no. Well, who else is there? You know, apart from me. I think they're coming. They're coming. Oh, they're coming? I knew they wouldn't. And you're here. Oh yes, every word. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. The show is about to begin. They're coming! And we found Selston! Where were you? Me? Through the wall. Ladies and gentlemen, the performance is... I've done it! it. Do, done about to begin? Yes, about to begin! It's about to begin at any moment. Poor Lloyd, he'll choke on his toffees. No, the walls are very thin, you see. I'm sick to death of it, she cries. Am I setting a bit of a trend here? Oh, uh, understudy rehearsal, my love? Very timely for Gary, yes. You try to give some poor devil a lift up, she said. Gary, my sweet. Are you all right? Or maybe she said, a leg over. Oh, oh, and, oh, and here he is. What's he saying? He's not saying anything, Selden, my sweet. Very sensible. Only stir it up again. I've seen you giving him little nods and smiles. That's what he kept saying. Dottie, my love. Oh, she's submerged, has she? Come on, old girl, you're on. Are you all right? Is she all right? She's fine. All right, everyone. Little hugs and squeezes. Hush, love. Curtain up. Right. Look, Dottie, look, Gary. I'm not going to make a great speech. But we have all got to go out there and put in a performance, and while we... And, and, and we can't do it in silence. We're going to have to speak to each other. That's what I was going to say. What's the house like? That's the spirit. Well done, Dottie. It's quite good. Well, for a matinee... There's actually quite a crowd at the front of the back stalls. Come on, girl. Open the tabs. Those OAP sound, they haven't got long to go. Oh, can I just say one more thing? Hold it a moment, Poppy, please. Can I just say one more thing? Sardines! 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 Sardines. Sardines. Okay. Music cue, one, go. Now what? Lloyd, we're just going up. Look, I'm sorry, Lloyd, it's my fault. I was just saying a few words to everyone. Wrong moment, what? I see that. Freddy, have you ever thought of having a brain transplant? Anybody else have thoughts they feel they must communicate? Well, Lloyd, 
Um, I, I, I do have one. I mean, not now, but... What? Well, you know, later. And you bought these flowers for puppy? No. Well, yes. And you didn't buy any flowers for me? No. Well, no. Tim, have you ever heard of such a thing as jealous rage? Yes. Well, yes. Then take 10 pounds of your own money, Tim, and go out and buy some flowers for me. But Lloyd, we're just going up. I have to run the show. Never mind the show. Focus on the flower arrangements. <laughs> Bought them for puppy. You two could have Fre Freddy's old brain. You could have half each. <laughs> oh, dear. Don't cry, puppy love. Just get the old bus on the road. Silence backstage. Christ! Quiet backstage! Hush, love. Music cue one go. Curtain opening. It's no good you going on. I can't open sardines. I'm down to the phone. I've only got one leg. Hello? <clears throat> yes, but there's no one here, love. Nope. Mr. Brent's not here. No, he lives here, yeah, but he don't live here right now because now he lives in Spain. Mr. Philip Brent, that's right. The one who writes the plays, that's him, only write, he writes them in Spain now. No, 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 she's in Spain too. They're all in Spain, there's no one here. Am I in Spain? No, I'm not in Spain, dear. I look after the house for him, but I go home at one o'clock on Wednesday, only I've got a nice pair of sardis to put me feet up with because it's the royal, what's it called on the telly? Or the royal, you know. Oh, and if it's to do with letting the house, then you have to ring the house agents because they're the agents for the house. Squire, Squire, Hackham, and who's the other one? No, no, they're not in Spain, dear. They're next to the phone in the study. <sighs> Always the same story, in it. As soon as you put the weight off your feet, down it all comes on your head. I have a housekeeper, yes, but, but this is her afternoon off. So we have a place entirely for ourselves. Oh, uh, uh, let me just check. Hello? Is there anybody in here? No, there doesn't seem to be anybody in here. So, what do you think? All these doors! Oh, <laughs> only a handful, really. Study, kitchen, and a self-contained service room for the housekeeper. And which one's the... The what? You know. The usual offices? Oh, through here, through here. Terrific! Now I've lost the study! Oh! Oh! I'm sorry, I thought I was the only one in here. Oh, I'm not here. I'm off, only it's the royal, you know? And who are you? I'm from the agents. Uh, no, I just came by to uh, check on a few things, uh, do one or two odd jobs. Oh, and a client. I'm showing a prospective tenant over the house. What's wrong with this door? She's thinking of renting it. Her interest is definitely aroused. That's not the bedroom. The bedroom? No, that's the downstairs bathroom and the OEC suite. And this is the housekeeper, Mrs. Crockett. Clack it, dear, clack it. Only... Now I've lost the newspaper. I'm sorry about this. It's all right. We don't want the television, do we? Only she has been in the family for generations. Great. Come on, then. I've got to be in Basingstoke by four. Shouldn't we have a glass of champagne? We'll take it up with us. Yes, well... And don't leave my files out of sight? No, only... What? Well... Her? She has been in the family for generations. Sardines! Oh, it's not for me to say, of course, dear. Only, I will say this. Don't think twice about it. Take the plunge. You really enjoy it here. Oh, great. And we'll enjoy having you, won't we, love? Yes, well, yes. Terrific. Ah, sardines, sardines. Can't put your feet up on an empty stomach, can you? You see, she thinks it's great. She's even making us sardines. Well. I think she's terrific. Terrific. So which way? Uh, all right, fine, before she, comes back, before she comes back with the sardines. Up here? Yes, yes. In here? Yes, yes. It's another bathroom! No, 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 no! Always trying to get me into bathrooms. This one, this one! Ooh, black sheets! That's the linen cupboard. This one, this one. Oh, you're in a real estate and you can't even get the door open. It's Mrs. Crackett's afternoon off, remember? We've got the place entirely to ourselves. Home. Home sweet home. Dear old house. Just waiting for us to come back. It's rather funny, though, creeping in like this for our wedding anniversary. There is something to be said for being a tax exile. Leave those. Shh. What? Inland Revenue may hear us. <laughs> <laughs> First, sardines, I shall never know. Mrs. Mrs. Crackett. Oh! Oh, 
you gave me a turn! Me heart jump right on my boots! So did mine! We thought you'd gone! I thought you was a spade! We are, we are! You haven't seen us! We're not here! Oh, you want your things, look! Oh, yes, thank you! And that bed has a mean head, love! Oh, uh, I'll get a hot water bottle! I've put all your letters in the study, dear! Oh, good heavens, where are they? In the pigeon house! In the pigeon house? In the little pigeon house in your desk, love! <laughs> but, but, but I could hear voices! Voices? What sort of voices? People's voices. But there's no one here. Oh, look, she's open our sardines. Come back. What? I'll fetch them for you. You can't go, down, go downstairs like that. Why not? Mrs. Crockett. Mrs. Crockett? <laughs> one has certain obligations. Sardines here, sardines there. It's like a Sunday school outing. Oh, still poking around, are you? Yes, still poking. Well, still about. In the airing cupboard, were you? No, no. Well, just checking on a few linens and sheets. Uh, going through the inventory. Uh, Mrs. Blackett. Uh, Clackett, dear, Clackett. Uh, Mrs. Clackett, is there anyone else in the house, Mrs. Clackett? No, no, there's no one in the house, love. I, I, I thought I heard voices. Voices? There are no voices here, love. I must have imagined it. Oh, uh, I beg your pardon? How oh, good Lord above! The study door's open. Uh, th th there's a car outside. That's a Mr. Hackham's visit, or, or Mr. Dudley's. Nothing but a... Uh, 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 flapping doors in this house. Final notice, steps will be taken, restraint, proceedings in court. Oh yes, that reminds me, a gentleman came out the house. Don't tell me I'm not here. So I'll just sit down and turn on the sardines, sardines. I've forgotten the sardines. I don't know, if it weren't fixed on my shoulders, I'd forget what day it was. You know, I didn't get this, I'm not here. I'm in Spain. But if I didn't get it, I didn't open it. Darling, I never had a dress or uh, a bunch of flowers like these, did I? Didn't you? Oh, I shouldn't buy anything as tardy as this. It's not something you gave me, is it? Never have touched it. No, they're lovely. Stick it down, put it back, never saw it. Well, I'll put it in the attic with all the other things you gave me that are too precious to wear. All right, all right, uh, what's going on here? Uh, oh, uh, and now the study door is open. Uh, oh, uh, knocking, knocking! Upstairs! Upstairs! Oh, there's someone in the airing cupboard. Uh, and locked in the airing cupboard. Oh, it's, it's, it's you. Uh, of course it's you, behind all those, hidden under all those linens and sheets, because, uh, you know, I can't stand here indefinitely. Um. Of course it's me. You put me in here in the dark with all the black sheets and things. Yes, but darling, why did you lock the door? Why did I lock the door? Why did you lock the door? Uh, I didn't lock the door. Well, someone locked the door. Uh, anyway, we can't stand here looking like this. Like what? In your underwear, uh... Okay, I'll take it off. Uh, in here, in here. We can never get unstuck. Oh, Mrs. Clackett's made us some sardines. Why did I lock the door? Why did you lock the door? Someone in the bathroom filling hot water, but what? I didn't lock the door. Uh, that, uh, that, don't panic. That, that, don't panic. Uh, 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 th th there's a perfectly rational explanation for all this. Uh, I'll fetch Mrs. Blasson and she'll explain exactly what's happening. Uh, you, you wait here. No, you can't wait here. You wait in the study. Study, study, study. Study, study, study. Oh. Roger, there's a strange figure ah! in the study now. Darling, ah. I know this is going to sound silly, but... Darling, if you're not coming to bed, then I'm going to clear out the attic. I can't come to bed. I'm glued to a tax demand. Darling, why don't you put the sardines down? Darling, I'm glued to the sardines. Darling, don't play the fool. Get that bottle marked poison from the downstairs loo. That eats through anything. You know, I've heard of people getting stuck with a problem, but this is ridiculous. But this is ridiculous! No bars, no burglar alarms. They ought to be prosecuted for incitement. No, but sometimes it makes me want to sit down and weep. When I think I used to do banks. When I remember I used to do bullion vaults. What am I doing now? 
I'm breaking into paper bags. So, what do they have to offer? One microwave oven? What? 50 quid? Hardly worth lifting. Um, let's see. Junk, junk, if you insist. Where's this desk? No, but they all say the same thing. They all say the same. Yes? They all say the same thing? It's hard to adjust to retirement. Hard to what? Adjust to retirement! It's hard to assess a requirement. Prospective tenants naturally wishes to know if there's any previous history of paranormal phenomena. Oh, yes, dear. It's all nice and paranormal. Yes, but has anything ever dematerialized before? Has anything ever uh, flown about? Flown about? No, the things move themselves on their own two feet. Like they do in any house. I'd better warn my prospective tenant then. Uh, she's inspecting the study. Ah, th th there's a man in there. No, no, there's no one in the house, love. Look, look, he's searching for something. There's no one here. What? You can't see him? But, but, but this is extraordinary. And where is my prospective tenant? I, I, I left her in there. She's gone. My prospective tenant has disappeared. Uh, oh, my God. Now what? There. Where? The sardines. Oh, the sardines. You can see the sardines? I can see the sardines. And I can see the way they're going, too. I'm not letting these sardines go out of my hand. But where is my prospective tenant? I'm going to be opening sardines all night. In and out of here like a cuckoo on a clock. Vicky! 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 No! I miss the violence. I miss having other human beings around to terrify. Where is she? Vicky! 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 It's nice to have a bit of screaming and shouting once in a while. All the silence gets you down. Vicky! 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 I'm gonna end up talking to myself. Darling, this stuff that eats through anything, it eats through trousers. Darling, if it eats through trousers, you don't suppose it goes on and eats through... Oh, listen, darling, I think I'd better get these trousers off. And darling, quick, this is an emergency. I mean, if it eats through anything, oh, darling, I can feel it. It's eating through absolutely everything. Oh, there's something evil going on in this house. The Inland Revenue, he's back. No, no, I'm not here. Stay. I won't thank you. Speak. Only in the presence of my lawyer. Only in the presence of your... Hold on, you're not from the other world. Uh, yes, yes, Marbella. I'm gonna come straight downstairs. No, you're not, you're some kind of sex maniac. I'm gonna come straight downstairs and... Ah! Uh, are, are you all right? Are you uh, all this right? This is a matter for the police. Yes, oh. police? Yes. Uh, I think I'll be running along. No, come back. Yes, police. Yes, someone has broken into my house. Or rather, someone has broken into someone's house. No, but he's, but he's a sex maniac. I left the young woman here, and where she's gone to, nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody knows! I'm sorry, the young woman has reappeared. Are you all right? No, he almost saw me. He almost saw her. No, but he, he, no, but he's a burglar as well. He's taking all of our things. The things are here. The things have come back. So what am I saying? I'm saying let's have no more about it. Well, put your dress on. I haven't got anything. Oh, the bathroom, there must be something in the bathroom. Uh, bring the sardines. Bring the sardines. Right? That's a downstairs side up a bit. Let's give the upstairs a quick look around for them. A bath mat? It's better than nothing. I can't go around in front of the taxpayers wearing a bath mat. A bedroom then. There must be something in the bedroom. I'm not going in there. Oh, uh, you check the other bathroom. Uh, I'll check the bedroom. Uh, you help. I'll check the bedroom. The bedroom. Roger! There's a strange man in the bedroom. Darling, I'm finding such lovely things. Do you remember this China tea service that you gave me on the anniversary of our... Oh no! It's his wife and dependent!
here, put this on while, while I look for something in your attic. My God! Who are you? Me? Uh, just doing the taps, Governor. Tax? Income tax? That's right, Governor. Income new taps, out go old taps! Here you are! I, your friend, your dress came flying out of the attic at me. Here it is. Hey, juntalas ahorita, amarralas. Ah, uh, there's another intruder. Just doing the taps, Governor. A tax? Not a tax on women. That's right, Governor. Try anything, but I'll do the taps in the bathroom first. Oh, sex maniacs. Sex maniacs everywhere. Uh, Vicky? Where is Vicky? People everywhere. I'm off. A Texan woman? I don't know. They'll put a tax on anything these days. If I can't find her, you're gonna be in serious trouble, you see? WC? I'll fix it. Uh, Vicky! Oh, oh, you're. Oh, no chic? Well, it, it's almost four. I mean, I mean, it is four, isn't it? I mean, I've been standing here for what seems like forever. Uh, well, you know, it could be almost five, I mean, for all I know, and, uh,. Oh, you're here. You're hidden behind the... Oh, so Sheik, you want to see the house now, Sheik, do you? Well, since you're already upstairs, uh, we might as well start with the upstairs. Him and his floozy, I'll break this over their heads. Uh, let's start downstairs. That's my little girl. So long as I can see her go. Dad! Our little Vicky that ran away from home, I thought I'd never see her again. So where's my other sheet? And what you're up to with my little girl down in... I rent it! Hold on, I know that face. You're not that sex maniac. You're that sex maniac! And what you're up to with my little girl down in Basingstoke, I won't ask. But I'll tell you one thing, Vicky. What's that, Dad? When all around is strife and uncertainty, there's nothing like a... I'm going to have a baby! A good old-fashioned plate of gravy! And curtain!
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the old fish market theater, Low Soft, or rather the municipal theater, Stockholm on Tees, for this evening's performance of Nothing On. We apologize for the slight delay in starting tonight, which is due to circumstances. Hands off Freddy, all right? You're the one who's trying to get their hands on Freddy. Due to circumstances. You don't own him, you know? Beyond our control. Ah! We would ask you to bear with us while we deal with her, with them, with the circumstances. I should perhaps say that with tonight's performance, our long and highly successful tour. Ladies and gentlemen, we apologize for the inconvenience in starting tonight, which is due to circumstances. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Due to circumstances which have now been brought under control. Our long and highly successful tour, it's on its very last legs. It's very last leg. Thank you for your... Thank you for your cooperation, cooperation and, and understanding. understanding. I, we would sincerely ask you to enjoy the rest of the evening. Let there no be other hiccups, no other holdups. So, ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy. It's no good you going on. I can't open sardines and answer the phone. I've only got oh, one leg. Oh. Hello? Yes, but Mr. Brent's not here. Hello? Mr. Brent's not here! He lives here, yeah, but he don't live here right now, because now he lives in Spain. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Philip... Mr. Philip Brent, that's right. The one who writes the plays, that's him. Only why he'd want to get into plays, God only knows. He'd be safer off at the lion's cage in the zoo. No, 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 she's in Spain too. They're all in Spain, there's no one here. Am I in Spain? No, I'm not in Spain, dear. I look after the house for him, but I go home at one o'clock on Wednesday, and I've got a nice little sardines to put my feet up with, because it's the royal, you know? What's it called on the telly? Well, the royal, you know. Now, well, if it's to do with letting the house, and you have to ring the house agents, because they're the agents for the house. Yeah, yeah. Squire, Squire, Hackham, and... Who's the other one? <gasps> no, they're not in Spain. They're just a little bit squashed. Yes, uh, I'm gonna do something wrong here. Always the same minute. One minute you've got a full plate, the next thing you know, there's nothing in it at all. Yeah, uh-huh. I have a housekeeper, yes, but this is her afternoon off, so, uh, uh, well, I'll just check. Yes, hello? Anybody in here? No, there doesn't seem to be anybody in here. Uh, uh, so, what do you think? Great, and all this is yours? Oh, only a little shack in the woods, really. Converted past in most 16th century. It must have cost a uh, bomb. Yes, well, one has to have somewhere to entertain one's business associates. Uh, so, I uh, have a fellow coming in at four, in fact. Arab chic oil, you know. Uh, well, and so he's probably calling with the... Uh, I have to be in basing stock by four. Yes, yes, we'll only just manage to fit it in. I mean, uh, we'll only just manage to pick it up. I mean... All right, then. Uh, we won't bother to pull the champagne. All these doors. Oh, uh, only a handful, really. Uh, study, kitchen, and a self-contained service room for the, the receiver. And which one's the... Uh, the, the what? You know. Oh, uh... Oh, uh, the, the usual offices? Oh, uh, through here. Through uh, here. Now I've lost the sardines. Ah! ah I, I, I'm sorry, I thought I was the only one in here. I'm not here. I'm lost. I'm from the agency. I've lost the phone now. <laughs> Squire, Squire, Hackham and Dudley. I've never lost the phone before. I'm Tramplemain. I'll just put it up here if anybody wants it. Yes, all right. I mean, no, no, uh, I, I'm just coming in to check on a few things. Uh, do one or two odd jobs. Oh, and uh, uh, checking some measurements. Oh, and a client. I'm showing a prospective tenant over the house. What's wrong with this door? She's 
thinking of renting it. Her interest is definitely aroused. That's not the bedroom! The bedroom? No, that's the downstairs bathroom in WC Suite. And this is the housekeeper, Mrs. Crockett. Uh, sardines, dear. Sardines. Oh, hi. She's not really here. I better give the floor a wash. Uh, we'll just inspect the house. Uh, don't mind us. Uh, I'm sorry about this. It's all right. We don't want the television, do we? Right, the television. Because she mentioned the, the royal, you know, because uh, there's this thing going on with the... And, and you know, she's... Because in case anyone's going out, I don't know. Uh, my God. Uh, all right. Come on, then. I've got to be in Basingstoke by four. Right. Uh, I just thought we should get that straight, my love. We'll take it up with us. Where are we? And don't leave my files out of sight. What? 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 Uh, well... Her? Her, right. Uh, because, uh, well, her, she has been in the family for generations. Sardines. Oh, it's not for me to say, of course, dear. <laughs> Only, I will say this. Don't think twice about it. Take the plunge. you really enjoy it here. Oh, great! <sighs> I'll put this up there, for if he wants it, he won't know where to find it. Terrific! You'll have to do the sardines, then, because I'm going in the kitchen to make some more. You see, she's even making us sardines. Well, I think she's terrific. Terrific. So which way? Uh, did, I don't know. Just kind of parcel them up in the uh, up uh, here. Uh, down here. Uh, uh, in here. With the. Uh, uh, <gasps> it's another bathroom. Uh, with the, take the bag in the box upstairs. Always uh, trying to get me into bathrooms. Bags, boxes. Woo! Black sheets. <sighs> Oh, all right. Uh, you take the you 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 take the you take this and the uh, and you take it into the. Uh, I'll take the 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 the. Uh, uh. Oh, you're in a real estate and you can't even get the door open. Oh no, it's Mrs. Crockett's afternoon off. I'm at. <laughs> We've got the place entirely to ourselves. Home. Home sweet home. Dear old house. Just waiting for us to come back. But how odd to find the telephone in the garden. I'll put it back. I thought I ought to bring it in. Very sensible. Well, uh, someone's bound to want it. Oh dear. Why don't you uh, put it back on the table? The wire seems to be caught. Uh, oh. Oh, it seems to be caught round the downstairs bathroom. Oh, so it is. I think I disentangled it. Darling, I climbed through the bathroom window and... Oh. It's, it's rather funny, though, creeping in like this for our wedding anniversary. It, it's damn serious, because if Inland Revenue finds out we're in the... Country? Even for one night? Uh, yes, sorry, because if Inland Revenue finds out we're in the... Country. Country. Even for one night. Even for one... Night. Bangles are claimed to be resident abroad. Resident abroad, uh, absolutely. So I think I'd better... Uh, <laughs> I think I'd better go and have a little lie down. Yes, uh, lie down. Well, uh, why not? Uh, no children, no friends dropping in. Uh, well, uh, leave those. Oh, yes, sorry. Downstairs, not upstairs. I, I, I'm so sorry. Uh, uh, there is something to be said for being in tax exile. Leave those. Shh. What? Inland Raven, you may hear us. <laughs> what I did with that first set of sardines, I shall never uh, know. Mrs. Newspaper! <gasps> Oh, you gave me a turn! Me heart jumped right of the sofa. So did mine. We thought you'd gone. I thought she was in Sardinia. Uh, we are. We are. We're not here. You haven't seen us. Guess I can tell who put these here, huh? Uh, yes, but the main thing is that the income tax are after us. Lovely helping of sardines to sit on. So, anyway, if anybody asks for us, then you don't know nothing anything. I'll just get a hot water bottle. And off she goes without waiting to find about her letters. His, his, his letters? Letters? What letters? You forward all the mail, don't you? Not presents from Sardinia, dear. I'm so sorry. You know where I put presents from Sardinia? I put presents from Sardinia in the pigeon house. Uh, in the, in the pigeon house? In the pigeon house down there, love. <laughs> yes, but, but, but I can hear voices. I, voices? I, I mean, what sort of voices? I mean, people, bo box voices. I mean, but people, there's no one here. 
uh, darling, I saw a door handle. Oh, wait, and these bags, uh, shouldn't they be downstairs with the... Uh, Mrs. And, uh, Crackett? No, but they, they not to be downstairs with the... Oh, and, look, she's so no, 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 Fred, wait, come back. Uh, well, uh, well, you can't go downstairs like that. Like what? In your underwear. Why not? I did, well, uh, Mrs. Crockett. <gasps> Mrs. Crockett? Well, and one has certain obligations. Sardines here, sardines there. It's like the Battle of Waterloo out there. Oh, you're still poking around, are you? Yes, still poking, well, still pulling. Oh, good job, I can't see anything with this leg. Uh, Yes, uh, just checking on the doors, checking which one fits into the, and which door handles work in the, uh, uh, Mrs. Blackett. Clackett, dear, Clackett. Mrs. Blackett, Mrs. Clackett, uh, is there anyone else in the house, Mrs. Clackett? No, no, there's no one in the house, love. I thought I heard boxes. I mean, I, I found these voices. Um, uh, no, no, there's no voices here, love. Oh, uh, I, I must have imagined it. Oh, good Lord, up! Why? What is it? Oh, good Lord, up! The study door's open. Yes, and they're gonna want these outside with the, uh, with the, and uh, I'll just, uh, you know, you know what I mean. Uh, you, you, you know what I mean. Nothing but flapping doors in this handle. Final notice. Steps will be taken. This train's proceedings in court. Oh my lord, who are you? I'm Philip. Philip, what's happened to him? Well, it's all got a bit slippery at the stairs. You haven't there. done yourself an injury, have you? No, he's just a bit shaken. I'll be all right in a minute. Weren't you going to tell me a man had come about the house? What? Weren't you going to tell me a man had come about the house? Oh yeah, a man came about the house. Don't tell me I'm not here. He's put your box out in the garden for you. Let them do anything just as long as you don't tell anyone we're here. So I'll just sit down and turn on the sardines. I've forgotten the sa No, I haven't. What a surprise. Uh, I'm, wow, what a miracle. I must go out to the kitchen and celebrate to make some more. I didn't get this. I'm not here. I'm in Spain, but if I didn't get this, I didn't open it. Darling, I never had a door handle like this, did I? Didn't you? Oh, I shouldn't buy anything as brassy as this. I should never have touched it. No, it's lovely. Take it down, put it back, never saw it. Oh, well, I'll just put it in the attic if anybody else wants to give it a try. La hijo abierta. All right, all right, what's going on here? And, and now the, 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 the study door is open. Uh, oh, knocking, knocking, uh, upstairs, upstairs. Oh, there's someone locked in the area. Oh my God. Uh, uh, listen, uh, you're, you're, I can't because the handle with the, and, and you're just gonna have to, uh, you know, with the, and, uh, darling, and can, I mean, anybody who's in there, if you can, don't just keep banging, and, uh, there must be something, oh, all right, listen, just, uh, climb through the, with, oh, with the, and go down through the, and shimmy through the, for pity's sake. Final notice, steps will be taken, the strained proceeding. Oh, in court. oh, it's you! Of course it's me! You put me in here in the dark with all the black sheets and things! I, I put you in there, but but you managed to see me through the through the Why did I lock the door? Why did you lock the door? Uh, anyway, we can't stand here looking like this. Well, Sorry. someone locked the door. Uh, we can't stand here looking like this. Like what? With people coming in and out. Oh, I'll take it off. Uh, in here, in here. Final notice, steps will be taken, the straight proceedings in court. A hot water box. What now? A hot water box, I, I didn't open it. Uh, I didn't put it there. Sorry. I, well, th there's someone in the bathroom filling first aid boxes. Do you think there's something creepy going on? Darling, d d darling, darling, <gasps> darling, are you coming to bed or aren't you? Did you say something? I didn't say anything. First the door handle, now the first aid boxes. What's going on here? I can feel ghost pimples all over. Yes, quick, get something over you. Get the cover over our heads. 
Just a minute, what do I do with those sardines? Oh, uh, you wait here. I'll, I'll fetch down uh, and... Uh... You hear all sorts of funny things about this old house. Yes, but this one's been extensively modernized. I don't see how anything weird could have survived. Ah! Oh my god! What would happen? The sardines, they aren't fit. No, wait, here they are. Uh... <laughs> Well, you know, uh, my God, I mean, my God, I mean, you know, these days, when the last thing you would expect to find, I mean, I mean, I mean, these days is uh, when you put down a, a plate of sardines and, and, and for, for two minutes, I, the last thing you expect to find is, uh, uh, um, that's really weird. Perhaps there is something funny going on. I'm going to go upstairs and put my head under the... Because <gasps> there they are, exactly. No, Meg! they're not. I, I, I bet Mrs. Black had must have given them while we were upstairs. Bag! What? What is it? Bag, bag, bag! What do you mean, bag, bag? bag Back, bag. Back, back, back. Sardines, sardines. Back, back, back. Sardines, sardines. Back, back, back. Sardines, sardines, sardines. Back, back, back. Ah, uh, bag. Ah, uh, bag, bag. What bag? What do you mean, bag, bag? Bag, your bag. Suddenly here, now gone. Uh, it's in the bedroom. I put it. It's supposed to be in the bedroom. I. I'll Don't put go it, in there. I'll put it in the bedroom. The, the, the box. The box. They're both not gone. Oh. Oh, what on, what on earth is going on here? Uh, I'll fetch Mrs. Platchett. You, 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 you wait in the bedroom. No, no, no. Uh, at least put your dress on. I'm not going in there again. I'll fetch it for you. I'll fetch it for you in yes, the bedroom. Yes, quick. Let's get out of here. Uh, your dress, it's, uh, it's gone. <gasps> oh, I'm never going to see Basing Stoke again. Don't panic. Don't panic. Uh, there, there's a perfectly rational explanation for all this. I'll fetch Mrs. Platchett and she'll explain it. Ah! Final notice? Ah. Darling, if you're not coming to bed, then I'm going to clear out the attic. Oh, dear. Oh, great heavens! No other hands, thank you, not my sardines, because this time she's killed him! He's just stunned, that's all, keep going. Don't panic! Don't panic! He's uh, alright, keep going. There's a perfectly rational explanation Where for all this. Are we? I'll fetch Mrs. Blatchett and she'll explain exactly what's happening. No, you, you fetched her, she's here. I fetched Mrs. Blatchett and she'll explain exactly what's happening. She won't, you know. I'll tell you what's happening. The, 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 there, there's a man in there, yes? Uh, no. No, my precious, he's in here, look. And so am I. No, no, there's no one in the house, love, right? Uh, no, I know this may come as a surprise to you. I mean, it was quite a shock for us to find a man lying at the bottom of the stairs. Wasn't it, darling? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, well, now that we've all met, we'll just have to introduce each other, won't we, darling? Introduce ourselves, right. I'm so sorry. Well, this is my husband. I'm afraid surprises go straight to his nose. There's a man lurking in the underground! Oh, how delightful. Another unexpected guest. So why don't you, uh, why don't you, uh, go see what you can see in the garden. And darling, fetch that bottle marked poison in the downstairs loo. That eats through anything. Oh, eats through anything, right. You know, I've heard of people getting stuck with a problem, but this is ridiculous. No bars, no burglar alarms. They ought to be prosecuted for incitement. Come in and join the party, love. A burglar. This is most exciting. Dear, this is, this is my fault because when I say, you know, I've heard of people getting stuck with a problem, but this is ridiculous, and I open the door, no bars, no burglar alarms. They ought to be prosecuted for incitement. No, no but, but sometimes, sometimes it makes, makes me want to sit down and weep. I know, it's getting when, like a funeral in ya. When, when I, I think, think I used to do banks. Keep going. When, when I remember I used to do volume balls. What, what am, am I doing now? now? I'm, I'm breaking, breaking into paper bags. Just keep going. Stop? No, no. I, I thought the coast was clear, you see. I saw him go out to the bathroom. Never mind, my love, we'll think of something. No, no, I was listening most carefully. What's the line? I've heard of people getting stuck with a problem, but and this is ridiculous. The door. No bars, no burglars. They ought to be prosecuted for incitement. They, they usually do come in threes, don't they? When I think I used to do bangs, when I remember I used to do bowling balls, what am I doing now? I'm breaking into paper bags. Hold on. Hold on, we know this man. He's not a burglar. He's our social worker. He's what? 
He's that nice man who goes around and tells us what to do. What to do? What, what to do? do? What, what's he saying? What's he saying? He's saying, just get through it for doors and sardines, yes? That's what it's all about. Doors and sardines, yes? Doors and sardines. Doors, doors and sardines. He's saying, he's saying, uh, phones and police. Phones and police. Phones, phones, phones and police. police. Phone. Uh, the police. Uh, he's saying bags and boxes. Bags, bags and boxes. boxes. Bag. Oh, 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 bag. Uh, uh, sheets. Sheets. He's saying sheets. 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 Uh, he's saying all we want now is a nice, happy ending. Ah, I rent it. Oh yes, and there she is in her wedding dress. Yes, yes, it's it's their wedding day. Hey! It's their wedding day. Ooh. What a happy ending. Do you take the sheet to be your lawful wedded wife? Speak now or forever hold your peace. What's he saying? What's he saying? He's saying, last line. Last line. Last line. Last line. Me, last, last line? Right. <clears throat> I'll tell you one thing, Vicky. What's that, Dad? When all around is strife and uncertainty, there's nothing like a good old plate of. Good, good, good. good.